All right, Acronym Warriors, good, good to be with you again. We're ready to take this thing to the next level, which is I'm going to describe how you can get a copy of Acro Radar, how to download it, and, and the first 100 people that subscribe will get a perpetual license for free. And then after that, it will be $30 uh, for a one-time purchase. But here's what you need to do to go get Acro Radar. You, you go to acronym radar dot com hit get started the day it'll take you down to this email put your email in sign up it'll send a link for you to verify your email address and then we'll send you a link for you to download the free trial so that's how you you'll be able to get it now as you know acro radar is a word add-in that handles all your acronym uh, needs and here is just a quick review. Here is the acronym ribbon that is a word add-in here under Acro Radar. And I keep telling what the most powerful feature of it is, and that is the auto sequencer, which is right here, which will first of all let's let's, let's highlight all the acronyms in here. If you see these acronyms are in yellow. That means they're not spelled out. And what you typically want to do for most applications is to spell those out on first use. And the auto sequencer is what you use to do that. And we're going to just show you how that works. And as you can see, It spelled all these out. We're going to hit uh, words capability to, to accept these changes. Accept all changes. And then you can go in and show your acro table, which is uh, a list of all your acronyms, their page number, and the line number on which they first occurred. So that is some of the uh, most powerful features. You can also get a, uh, a glossary table, uh, a combination uh, acronym and glossary table. Well, let's just do that uh, acronym, and acronym and glossary table real quick. And, and you can see like the database is this. It's intermingled in here with the, the acronyms also. And so that's a combination integrated acronym and glossary table, uh, which is a handy feature to have if you need that. Uh, let's see, what else? This auto refresh will tell you how many acronyms you have. You got spell, 18 spelled, no one spelled, and a total of 18. Uh, you can go to these. You can go to all of these reports, and I'm not going to get into each one. Uh, not in database report. Let's just run one. It should be should be no entries, and there isn't. Everything is in the database right now. Uh, if you want to look at database, database operations, you can see test 001 acronyms is a table that we're using. These are the acronyms that are in there. Uh, you can always add one here, or you can add one through. You can add one through redirect acro, or auto acro. Uh, what else can we show you? Internet search is integrated right into right into the thing. And you can search for any acronym you want here. This is a third-party acronym finder integrated in here. And you can pick one and add it to your add to local if you want. So that's how you can do research online. Uh, let's say 
Let me see, review, I got changes. Track changes, and I just want to blah, blah, blah. Okay, now I can hit, go back to Accurate, or I can hit uh, revisions. And it's going to tell you uh, where the revisions are. And this is very handy if you want to, if you're coordinating with other people and you've made revisions, you can pass those back and forth if you're not using some other common expensive package where multiple people can coordinate online. Uh, Let's go into low threshold. Now, there's some rules where if something's not, uh, if something's only spelled out, let's say, less than three times or two times or one time, for the Department of Defense, it's three times. Uh, you should spell the whole thing out rather than use an acronym. So this low threshold capability, it's set at three, and it's going to tell you it's going to go through and it's going to go through and con uh, re replace those with without the acronym. We're going to accept this. And now if you go back and show your acro table, there's going to be no acronyms. Oh, except for blah. Blah is in there, which is shows it as an acronym. It's, it's funny. Uh, so, again, you need to go into the description, and it'll tell you to go to acronymradar.com. You subscribe. You will get an email to verify your email address. And then after that, we will send you a link to download AcroRadar. And AcroRadar is a fully signed and secure package that you can install on your, your computer. So that's what we have going. That's just a quick overview. Uh, this launch... Launch Acro Check is is a feature that I should probably show you that. Let's 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 show you that with something that's a little more. Uh, I am going to get this starting small out of the help file. It's got some acronyms in it that. Now we can launch Acker Check, and there you can see uh, you can work these one at a time from here if you want, or you can actually, uh, oper if you go to Operations and hit Auto Resolve, it'll do the same thing as Auto Sequencer. that'll come back and show you that everything is is resolved it's in green so that's what launch acro check does it's just another way of walking through each and every acronym to make sure they're adjudicated properly uh, let's go real quick the launch acro back. If you turn this on, it allows you to not get behind. It will pick up. Come on. Once you hit a comma or any punctuation mark, it's going to pop it up so you can add can add a spelling
and that that's what the that's what the uh, enable acrobot does. It allows you to once you hit hit some sort of punctuation mark, uh, it'll pop up that screen and allow you to add real time the the acronym instead of you know, getting them all. Uh, in your document and then having to go back and spend a lot of time doing each and every one after it's done. Uh, so, okay, so that, let's look at Acro Profiles. That, this is a pretty one, you got to refresh this, NATO, tells you the issues with NATO. The acronym is not spelled out on first use, it's no in document spellings. And doc spelling and database spellings are different. Now I can go here. I can hit acronym expand through the context menu. There is no spelling, so I would have to redirect. Or oh, didn't I just add that? Oh, let's just see about that. Why I didn't find that fucker. Okay, I had to use expand instead of uh, the context menu. So I'll have to look into that. But anyway, that shows you some of the features of of Acro Radar. So again, go down, you can look at the description wherever that's at, find that description. I had a hard time finding a description when I started looking at YouTube videos. But if you mess around with the buttons long enough, you eventually something comes up where you can hit the description. It'll give you the uh, instructions for logging in the, or going to acronymradar.com, acronymradar.com, hit your, enter your email, sign up, you'll get a, an email in your inbox that you have to verify. And then we'll send you a copy. Special launch op uh, offer. Special launch offers. We're celebrating our release. We're giving away free perpetual license to the first hundred users. After that, it's going to be for thirty bucks. It's practically giving it away there too uh, for lifetime. Don't wait. Be among the first to lock in your free license today. And I think I'm going to call it on this particular version of my tutorials so thank you very much and i will see you next time acronym warriors <laughs>